Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to take another look on one of the best mid-range phones that we unboxed two months ago that you guys should definitely consider checking out. So what I have here now is the newest colorway of the Oppo F11 Pro. Before we proceed, of course, quick shout out to Amersoft for sponsoring this video. Amersoft is a company that focuses on applications such as the iMusic. And iMusic is a music manager and downloader wherein you can manage your music through its software itself. For example, transferring music between Apple devices such as iPhone, iPad, to the iTunes library without generating duplicates. And restore the iTunes library whenever it's needed. Also guys, you could also fix your entire iTunes library meaning you can rename some music, pwede nyong palitan yung mga missing na cover art, and also you can fix the broken downloaded files. You could burn your songs or playlists to your DVDs or CDs using the app itself. And it also has a built-in music streamer. So yes, through the software na iMusic, it also supports download with over 3,000 sites, which means that you can download music from Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, and so much more. So again, I'll be linking down below their details. Okay, going back to the video, look at how beautiful the waterfall gray is. Guys, grabe. Siguro kung yung sa Vivo V15, medyo pang girly. I think this one, yung sa galing sa Oppo F11 Pro, is medyo pang neutral. Kahit mapababae ka man. Ah, anyway, we don't judge here by color. So, yung color pink or yung blossom pink ni Vivo, kahit anong gender mo, okay lang. Actually, with Oppo F11 Pro, ito na yung pangatlong color na nirelease nila. Yung two colors, we have the Aurora Green and Thunder Black. And alam nyo, itong gradient finish, it's it's starting to become a thing now. And dahil sa trend na to, Oppo decided to join the bandwagon. So maybe 2019 is the year of gradient design. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Halos lahat ng brands ginagawa na to. And for my opinion, yung color ng waterfall gray, this one, it screams, I'm a professional, parang I'm a businessman, I'm a businesswoman. Ewan ko, parang sobrang ang professional looking ng kulay. Again, from the name itself, Waterfall Grey, may pagka-grey siya sa bandang baba and then pa-white pa na siya sa ibabaw. But in person, if you will see, actually very obvious naman sa camera, may pagka-lavender-ish yung kulay niya. And to me, it's a perfect color combination. It is a very classy look, pero at the same time, yung gradient style niya, very subtle lang. Yung hindi masyado nag-effort, pero ang ganda pa rin. O, di ba? Parang nag-exam lang. Hindi ka nag-aral, pero ang taas pa rin ng grade mo. And comparing it to the first two colors na lumabas ng Oppo F11 Pro na sobrang, um, hindi naman sobra, pero medyo loud yung colors. So, if you are this type of person na mahilig sa gradient design, pero you want it to be classy, ayaw mo na masyadong loud, ayaw mo na masyadong strong yung colors na ginamit, then you guys should definitely check out this newest colorway from Oppo. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys na yung previous Oppo F11 Pro unboxing and review ko, yung sa camera niya, actually, I just figured this out recently lang and I wanna share it with you guys. Alam kong a few of my viewers are asking, Ate Mary, what will happen kapag bumaksak yung phone mo habang nagka-camera ka or habang nagsiselfie ka? So, ibabagsak natin yung phone, guys, habang nakataas yung selfie camera niya. So, ayan, guys, naka, nakalabas yung ating selfie camera. Sasaluhin po natin siya. Ayan. Guys, bumalik. Dropping off the phone was smartly detected and the camera was retracted. Continue using the camera. Of course, activate. The way it works, guys, is na detect nung phone ng accelerometer ang fall. So, I don't think you guys should worry about that kasi kapag nakakaramdam siya ng free fall, definitely babalik yung camera niya. So, the back has this glass tech design tapos meron po siyang pop-up camera sa gitna and a dual camera setup at the back, 48 megapixel plus 5 megapixel. Tapos meron po tayong LED flash and of course, the fingerprint scanner. For the screen, it has 6.52 inch IPS LCD display with 1080 pixels. And then on the lower part of the phone, we have a speaker grill, a micro USB port, a microphone and a 3.5 millimeter audio port. And we also have a single bottom firing speaker. I know it's not the best place to put a speaker since it can be easily 
covered by accident. Anyway, at least the speaker sounds really good and they decided to keep the headphone jack. Pero ang downside lang na nakita ko sa kanya is meron pa rin siyang micro USB port which is very outdated this 2019. We all know a lot of mid-range phones na lumabas na naka-USB Type-C na talaga. And by the way, yung motorized pop-up camera pala ni Oppo F11 Pro is 16 megapixel. Now, when it comes to the storage, yung unit pala na meron ako is yung 128GB of internal storage and the 6GB of RAM. For my final verdict, sasabihin ko sa inyo guys yung mga pros and cons ko sa Oppo F11 Pro. For the pros, ang ganda ng design niya guys, very captivating. Hindi mo malaman kung if it's made of plastic ba or glass. Pangalawa, yung screen guys, it's very wide, not less na siya. So, mas maganda yung experience nyo when it comes to watching YouTube videos and Netflix. Pangatlo, the performance is really good. My camera experience is also good. Nakita nyo naman yung mga selfies natin. Talagang lumalaban siya. And lastly, it has an excellent battery life. So, wala rin po siyang 4K video recording. And lastly, no NFC. So, yun lang yung medyo naging problema ko sa kanya. And by the way, the price. The price is 18,990 which is, I know, quite pricey. But basically, it's still the same sa Oppo F11 Pro na in-unbox natin, I think, two months ago. Still, still the same phone, still the same specs. Na bago lang po yung kulay. But yes, I think you guys should definitely consider buying this colorway kung hindi pa kayo nakakabili nung Oppo F11 Pro nyo. Buti na lang sa mga hindi pa nakakabili, taas ang kamay at nagpaplano pa lang then I think this is the right time na kunin at bilhin nyo at piliin nyo si Waterfall Grey. So that's it for today's video guys. Ano nag-enjoy kayo ito? Hindi naman lang masyadong nagbigay ng review. Um, binigay ko lang yung aking first impression sa bagong kulay ni Oppo F11 Pro. And definitely kung maganda siya in camera, mas maganda siya in person. So you guys should check the Oppo F11 and Oppo F11 Pro's newest colorway. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so kasi ang dami nyong namimiss na videos natin. And bye guys and see you on my next video.